Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are enjoying all the problems that I am uploading. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Today's problem is lucky numbers in a matrix. Given m by n matrix of distinct numbers, written all lucky numbers in the matrix in any order. A lucky number is an element of the matrix such that it is the minimum element in its row and maximum element in its column. So basically, there can be zero or more uh, lucky numbers which can satisfy this uh, property. It should be minimum element in its row and a maximum element in its column, right? So let's go ahead and try to understand with an example here, right? So here, uh, let's put in a matrix format so that that is more readable, right? So that's how it is. And then, right? Right. So let's see minimum element what we care minimum element in row right so minimums so mins we have three rows right so what is the minimum element in first row it is three right what is the minimum element in second row it's nine what is the minimum element in third row it is 15 right exactly so max max right so we need maximum in its column. So what is the, in the first column, what is the maximum? It's 15, right? And, and what is the max in second column? It's 16, right? What is the third one? 17, right? Maximum. Maximum that that is essentially the last row it seems right in this particular example 15 16 and 17, right? So if we are saying an element which is maximum in its first row and minimum Sorry minimum in its row and maximum in its column, right? In that case, we would say this is the answer, right? So we have calculated minimums and maximums. So from here, what we can say is, what is the common between those two? We could just easily select, right? So one, one approach, one approach is take common element and common elements and that's the answer, right? But this will be fine, right? This will be fine as long as the as long as the duplicates are not there right as long as duplicates are not there so one could argue that even if there are no duplicates this uh, method might really work so let's say if 3 9 15 and 15 16 7 we have calculated minimums in each row and maximums in each column right so whatever the uh, common elements in these two those are uh, the answers we could easily go ahead and say that right the, 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 there might be some catches like if there are if there are right if there are uh, what do you say duplicates in the array that strategy may not work right so that strategy may not work so that's the reason why uh, I am not going to go with that approach, right? So it, the strategy may work or may not work. So we will have to try through all the test cases that we have, we are given here, right? That's the reason why I may not go with this approach. So this is approach one. So you could go ahead and try and see what happens with this, that approach. And the second approach that I am I have done here is so I go through the matrix again, right? I go through the matrix again and for each element and check if this is there in the mins and max. If so, I'm good. If so, I'm good. I'm going to generate a answer array and add or answer list and keep on adding to 
that thing right so that is so go through matrix again and uh, check if each element is in both mins and max at corresponding index at corresponding index so this is important thing at corresponding index so this is the reason why i was not going with the approach one right so it could work and cannot work but the code that i'm going to show is for the approach two right so let's go ahead and try to uh, dive into the code so first things first get the number of rows and number of columns right and create the row mins and column max that's what we created here right and so calculate the row mins and calculate the column mins right so that's what we are doing here for each row calculate the row mins for each column calculate the column and then once we have the row mins and column mins right so create an answer at list which we are going to return right go through the matrix again and this is uh, this is what we are doing from 0 to r 0 to c go through the matrix again and after this right what we are doing is romans of i is equal to matrix of ij and column mins of j is equal to matrix of ij so romans of i i row is should be equal to matrix of ij and jth column max is should, should also be equal to matrix of ij in that case we are going to add answer dot add matrix of ij right so that's the thing so this could work easily finally you are going to return the answer so one thing that we can say is just whatever the uh, whatever the common elements between mins and max that should be your answer that's that's what also you could say right so you could keep on calculating the mins and when you calculate the max right so see if any values there in the mins so if so you just return right then and there so that's up that is one more approach that you can try and experiment with so let's go ahead and look at the time complexity and space complexity for this algorithm so time and space right so time so we are going through the array to calculate the mins and calculate the max and we are going through the matrix again to check the element so totally we are doing the the operation number of operations is equal to the number of rows and number of columns since i am calling the number of rows as r and columns is c so the time complexity for that will be order of r into c right so we are going through each row and each column so that is the time complexity and let's go ahead and uh, try to understand the space complexity so for row means i need order of row plus order of column right because for row means and row column and for answer it should be any way anything ranging from 0 to r plus c right so it, it could be the maximum is r plus c the maximum so it it is actually it's not actually r plus c it is anywhere from 0 to r plus c right so but in the worst case i'm just taking it as r uh, maximum of r c that's the best thing right maximum of r and c that's the best thing in that case or will it say make sense to minimum right minimum of r and c right so the minimum of r and c that will actually make sense then maximum r of r and c so that's the space complexity for this particular algorithm if you have any questions please post them in the comment section below i'll get back to you as soon as i can if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please go ahead and subscribe and also click the bell icon so that you get all my future video notifications also please share among your friends thank you for watching again i'll be back with another problem from lead code very soon till then goodbye